Hello, this is a tutorial for UE Systems UltraTrend DMS6 configuring your Ultra Probe for uploading and downloading routes. The first thing we need to understand is there are many Ultra Probes created over different years that accept different information. So we have to tell UltraTrend DMS6 how much and what information to send to which probe. The first thing we want to do is either connect via cable. Uh, the Ultra Probe 9000 or the Ultra Probe um, 3000 to the computer and have it in the menu section opened and on. Otherwise, on the Ultra Probe 401, the Ultra Probe 10000 or Ultra Probe 15000, we want to take the compact flash card or SD card and have it inserted into the computer. And I'll open the folder. I have an SD card uh, in the computer. And so you can see it there and it has a route on it. Um, I'll shrink that down. I just want to make sure that it is there and the computer's reading it and I use Windows to make sure that that's all working fine. Then I open up Ultra Trend DMS, which it is. I don't have to have a route open or anything of that nature. I want to come to Communications tab. And once I select the Communications tab uh, on the toolbar at the top, you'll see there is a Configure Probes. And so we'll hit configure probes. You see that I have the Ultra Probe 15,000 um, already configured. I can have many probes. I can have them all configured on here. Um, I simply select which probe when I'm uploading and downloading that I want to send it to. So what we will do is go ahead and configure this, let's say for the Ultra Probe 10,000 and the SD card is in the computer. The less I have as far as mass media connected to my computer, the easier this goes. So any thumb drives, jump drives, hard drives or anything like that are connected. If you remove those just to configure the probe, this goes a lot easier. So the first thing I want to do is hit new. And I hit new and it says it's going to guide me through and I hit next. And I can manually set it up to tell it which port, where to go exactly, or I can use automatic probe detection. And again, if I have really nothing else connected to the computer, it's going to go straight to that drive. Um, so I'm going to use automatic and hit next. And it says, okay, I detect a card um, in this drive. Which unit is it that you want this for? And so I'll choose the Ultra Probe 10,000 because it knows it's an SD card, um, not a compact flash card, and it's not connected uh, via cable. It would automatically detect that and know it was the 9,000 or 3,000 It was if it was a cable. So it's already highlighted on the 10,000, but I would simply highlight which one I want and hit Next. It says it'll be added to the system, and I hit Finish. And it's added. Um, I can test connections here. I can look at the settings of it if I'd like, or I can go back to communications and test connection there. So I'm going to test it just to make sure. And it says opening the connection to the probe, identifying which ultra probe, and it says it's the 10,000 successfully detected and ready for use. So it views the card as the probe. So I hit OK, and I hit OK, and I'm done. So once I go to communications, when I do get ready to upload and download, I come to selected probes and I see I have a choice of which probe I'm sending the route or group to. Um, and I need to choose which one because it does send a different amount of information uh, to each probe. So um, you would choose the probe you want to send it to and get ready to upload and download. And again, you can test the connection here if you would like. If you have any questions or any trouble, please contact us at UE Systems at 1-800-223-1325. Again, UE Systems, 1-800-223-1325.